Hello everyone, welcome to the last sort of, you know, episode of the How to Speed Dungeon series. And today, obviously, we're going to do Necro. So, a few, like, again, as I said before, we are not going to do normal Necro comps. We're doing it the speed way, right? We're, we're going to be as fast as possible. But still safe. Like, I realize there are faster teams than the one I'm going to show you, but this is a 100% very stable, uh, quite fast comp. It can go. Uh, my fastest run with this is 142. No, one, 140, sorry. 140. Uh, it averages below two minutes, actually. It, it can get above, but it averages below. So, that's a, th this is a sub two minute run. And we're going to go into it. And I'll explain as we go. Now, why Galleon? Which I'm sure a lot of you are like, eh? Galleon? What? So, I bring Galleon because he's amazing for the waves, for starters. Uh, the time to loot is crazy, right? He does it a lot. I know the, the, the attack buffs over, overlap, but having a defense break on everything pretty much one-shots all the monsters. Plus, he's a bit damagey, so, you know, he does his fair share of damage. Now, uh, why only one healer? Uh, one healer because, you know, more DPSers equals more uh, uh, more damage, faster faster runs. Also, uh, Colleen is a raid Colleen, a Colleen that you use in raids, that you rune for raids, has to be above 190 speed, right? It has to be really fast. And as a Colleen like that can solo heal Necro. No matter who you are, it can 90% solo heal Necro. A Colleen like that. So, uh, also, the Shihua. Actually, Hua and, Hua and Adrian are regular DPSers. Adrian gives a buff. It's good. He has two multi-hits. He has attack speed buff, which is excellent. So, if you don't land the attack speed debuff, or if uh, Hua uses her second skill, for example, uh, she can take care of... Uh, he can uh, With his attack speed buff, he can help you uh, not lose a turn on the boss. Uh, the last, uh, uh, Galleon, we said, Colleen, yeah, Adrian, and Hua, all excellent. Now, uh, Shihua. The reason I tried, I was using Lukasha, the, the Fire Harpy, before this. Uh, the, the runs were similar, a bit, maybe, uh, quite slower, actually, but, like, two minutes. They averaged, like, about 205, which is decent. Now, why Galleon? Because of Shihua. Because Shihua now does not use her second skill on the boss. Which, interestingly, interestingly enough, leads to her being very, very, very reliable as a shield breaker. You don't have to have... You, you don't have to limit yourself to multi-hitters only now. Even though I'm using... If, if we count Hua as a multi-hitter, I'm using 4 out of 5. But still... Uh, you don't have to be so rigid on the multi-hitter perspective. Oh, this is uh, this is actually a bad example of speed, but eh, whatever, doesn't matter. Anyway, because uh, Shihua now can break the shield on her own all the time, or at least she can guarantee uh, if she if she revenge procs as well, she can guarantee six hits or eight hits if she uses her second her third skill on the boss. So she can pretty much solo the shield with Colleen that always goes really fast and first. Ergo, the Galleon, to help with the speed on the waves, uh, to actually help with survivability a bit, because he steals attack bar, and to provide a constant arm, uh, attack debuff, attack buff, and for uh, his damage, and defense break, which you do want. So that's why Galleon, that's because of Shihua. Shihua makes Galleon possible. Now, some of you obviously don't have Galleon, so let's go with a free version that is still pretty... You can obviously do uh, also another way, if you don't have Shihua, which I'm sad for you if you don't. Oh, no, no. She got her buff now. So, if you don't have Shihua, another comp you can do, which I'm not going to show because she doesn't have runes right now, is this one. This one is actually a very good comp. Uh, you can even use Bella instead of Lukasha, but it will be a bit slower. Uh, 
but you definitely can use this. Uh, I would recommend that you rune your Sarah Triple Revenge if you do. Uh, because she has she has a 3 hit auto attack, so that will help so much. Even though she's an attack speed debuffer. Unless you skill her up, she's not a very good one. And uh, even if you do skill her up, uh, Hua should probably take care of it just fine. Obviously, other comps you can do are, like, you can do it like this. Uh, with Water Assassin, you can put Trevor here. So if you don't have Hua, but then you'd have to rely on, on uh, Sarah for your attack speed debuff. You can use the Lich, uh, Water Lich, or Wind Lich, or Dark Lich in the 5th spot. Also work just fine. So I'm not going to showcase this one because I don't... Um, unfortunately, I don't have correct runes on Sarah. She has like some plus 0 runes as well. So let's show this one. This is the other possibility. Uh, unfortunately, again, my Lukasha didn't... Uh, both her second and third skill got maxed, which sucks. Because you wanted to use her armor break as much as possible. Uh, you will notice that she has shield. Uh, shield really helps... Since she ha doesn't have a, you know, an auto attack that is multi-hit, I don't care for revenge so much on her. Shield helps with survivability. She helps Colleen heal every time. So I think it's probably the optimal set. You can go broken, doesn't matter. But uh, but yeah, uh, Lukasha should probably be best on shield. Plus, we all have a million shield runes that we don't use usually, so he should be he should be good. What Lukasha also helps with slightly is uh, that her uh, third skill, Wolf Hunt. Incre decreases attack bar with every hit so what that does is it helps you in the waves like obviously on the boss no attack bar reduction happens if you use sarah as well then even better because sarah reduces attack bar aoe as well with a second so the waves become very safe with those attack bar reductions aoe as well because wolf hunt will probably hit multiple targets not just one um so, okay, yeah, that's about it. You pro you want, since your Colleen is usually very fast, you want your defense breaker, if possible, to be faster. If not, then you want it to be second to Colleen, like Lukasha is right here, as you can see. So you want you want the defense breaker to be really fast so that he, he or she can go before the DPSers on the second round. You know, now attack speed was up, okay. Colleen, no shield, right? So my defense breaker went. You want you want the you want the defense breaker to go in order to be able to uh, you know put a defense break up and then the DPSers go and uh, you know kill. Now you'll see I got three turns to the boss because I had an attack speed buff and it had an attack speed debuff, so it got a bit owned. That's also really nice and it can happen no matter who you use as long as you have an attack speed debuff and Adrian and heal and buff. And attacks with debuff and defense break, and the boss is dead. Uh, you will notice that my Adrian doesn't do that much damage. Actually, my Adrian has very few skill ups. He has his third, uh, his third skilled up, so that's good. Oh, uh, do I want this? No, I don't. But it could be decent. So that's the team. Let's go with a Galleon one again for once. Uh, you can even use Julie actually as a DPSer. But she doesn't bring any very useful debuffs. But if you use her as uh, instead of like Shihua, you could. But I, I think Sarah is like just a, su such a good choice that you shouldn't uh, you shouldn't use uh, like any other just for the multi hits. Sarah is amazing. Sarah is the water cowgirl. Just making sure you guys know. So let's go once more over this. Uh, let's actually talk about the speed tuning while uh, while this goes. Uh, we we touched upon it here and there. One thing I want to remark: if you're going to use this team exactly, uh, Galleon being uh, faster than Colleen is actually better. Like I've tried it with Galleon slower than Colleen. It was okay because I have two Galleons. Um, this is my PVE one. Uh, the PVP one is a bit slower, but uh, it worked. But it had a fail rate. It wasn't a hundred percent. Like this team, I've never seen it fail. I've done over. Uh, 100 runs with it just to you know I didn't do 300 because I don't want to farm necro that much unfortunately 
But I just did it for the purposes of the video. I, I did 100 runs with this, no fails. Did a few more with uh, with uh, the slower Galleon. I got a fail, and then I got another one, like 10, 10 more runs in, so I gave up. I, as soon as you fail, I, 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 and the other one hasn't, you know, I'm just sad about you. Fuck you, stupid team. How dare you fail? So, yeah. If you, I'm not saying it will definitely be a fail, but, you know, it can happen. Now, uh, speed tuning. That was about it. Like, you want Hua to go last. Like, you know that. Shi Hua, you want to go third after the defense breaker. Uh, because she has a multi-hit. If the shield isn't down yet, uh, you want her to bring it down. Uh, if it is down, you, you want it to, you know, bring you glancing and stuff. So, yeah, Shi Hua, you want, uh, you want her to go third. Then Adrian, then Hua for the attack speed debuff. It's all pretty self-explanatory. Most of you know it already. Uh, now, what you can use instead of Galleon and Lukasha if you don't. It will still be speed. You know, it's not going to be above three minutes. Like, the teams that I'm saying, that I'm giving you all are usually in the 2.30 mark. They're not, uh, like, the maximum time you're going to take is, like, around 2.30. So, other teams you can use. You can... Keep this team and replace uh, Galleon with Bella. It will provide even more safety because, yeah, no, this is, you're not dying. You're just not dying. See, things died here. Um, so, him instead of, uh, uh, what's his name now? Fuck. Uh, Bella instead of Galleon also works very well. Uh, what he can do is, he can help, even though he has two useless skills for Necro, the third one is a, is a, still a heal, and he's everyone has them. So you know he's a pretty safe choice. Let's go to the select actually. To sh oh, fuck. <laughs> anyway, you can use you can use Bella instead of Galleon. You can use Sarah instead of Adrian. Uh, you can use Sarah instead of Shihua. And Bella instead of Galleon. It will still be fast. Um, yeah, that's about it for the teams I know. There's obviously stuff like Liches that are very good. The Water Lich is amazing for it. There's uh, uh, Seara. There's, there are many, many monsters that are decent for Necro. What I'm giving you is some basic concepts, and you can apply them, you can learn from them, and apply them, you know, make your own judgment about monsters, or just copy the team. Anyway, let's go over the runes of all the monsters that participated in this video. Uh, the first one was uh, Sarah. Now, Sarah, she's kind of weird right now. How she used to be was Violent Revenge, Attack or Damage Attack. With lots of crit rate. You will notice she gets critted when awakened, so she's pretty easy to make into a crit rate monster. I wouldn't put crit rate... Uh, rune on her because she has 30% I mean you can get to 80 and 80 is good enough you can get to 80 with a violent revenge set probably and attack or damage attack uh, as I said you wanted to go if you're not using Shihua you wanted to go third if you are using Shihua you wanted to go fourth uh, who else participated uh, the second galleon this is the you've seen him before. He's the PV Galleon. Like he's not he's run for dragons, but he works here just fine. Speed attack attack. You can go speed crit rate attack. You can you know whatever works for you guys. Uh, who else for this? Hua uh, first. Hua. The good thing about this the necro Hua is that she's also good in dragons. You can use the same Hua. Hua in speed necro and speed dragons is attack or damage attack. She's not speed. So. The same Hua can work perfectly. Uh, you just have to make sure that she's always the last. So if you upgrade your Hua speed, make sure that you tune in a bit on the other monsters of Necro so that you don't ruin your Necro team. You cannot do this with a speed Hua. I've tried. It, 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 you can do it. Like The boss will die, probably. But it's going to be over 3 minutes. or it's, Yeah, it's not going to be fun. So attack or damage attack. Or attack or re attack. Also works. Or attack crit rate defense. That's actually how I had her for a while. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's how. Shihua. She's the like golden star right now. She's amazing for Necro with her with a buff. 
Mind you, she still uses it on the lich, on the, the dark lich stage. And that's intended. We asked, come to us, we made a post on the forums. It's intended. Uh, it's not gonna help, it's not gonna change. But that still makes the runs faster because the other monsters are smarter about uh, the sleep now as well. They don't hit slept targets, which is nice. Uh, you'll see 129, she's like 5 speed ahead of uh, Hua. She's attack, crit rate attack, and she's triple revenge. She's my shield breaker. Uh, I don't like to rely on Violent for this shield breaker. Like, a lot of people tell you Violent revenge everything, but I like to have a monster with a 3 hit auto attack that will always, like 50% of the time, 45% of the time, will revenge the boss and get those 3 stacks out of the shield. Because, especially if she does that, if Shihua does that, now that she doesn't sleep, she will do at least, as I said before, at least six stacks of the shield on her own if she revenges. At least six to uh, six to eight, because her second skill hits five times. Another very interesting thing about her second, third skill is that uh, it puts the branding after the fifth hit. It's not an on-hit effect from the. Uh, it's not an on-hit effect from the the hits. She does the 5 hits, and then she puts Branding up. So, what's important about that? Why is it important? Because if she, if the boss has 5 stacks left on the shield, and she takes off all of them, then she uses Branding. And the Branding goes on the boss. If, you, if a Bella, for example, who has uh, the debuff embedded onto his first skill, hits the, hits the scratches the, uh, the boss at 1 stack of the shield, the defense break is not going to go up. But with Shihua, it's different. So that is very good. That is super good. Because the branding is a quite important debuff for the boss. It helps you kill it faster, obviously. So yeah, that's very interesting. Attack, crit, re attack. Um, you can go attack, crit, damage, attack as well, of course. Uh, you can go speed, crit, rate, attack if you're having trouble with the speed. That's fine. As long as she goes third, before, after the defense breaker. Colleen. This is my rate, Colleen. Uh, but she works excellent in Necro, Revenge, Speed HP HP, you can go Speed HP Defense, you can go Speed HP Accuracy with good subs. Doesn't matter. Get some Accuracy, get some Speed, and some Tankiness. That's all you need. Colleen's never gonna die. She's perfect. She's fine. Yeah, Colleen. Go, Colleen. Uh, who else? Uh, Lukasha. Well, you can obviously use Trevor. My Trevor is kind of, you know, <laughs> weird right now, so don't bother with him, but uh, you can use Trevor as well, but I wouldn't recommend it. Ryan is a good choice. The the water Neostone agent. He has double um, multi hits, and he has a defense break, and he has a self he self buffs. So he's a very good choice. And he also has I oh know he doesn't have a dungeon lead, but anyway, Ryan is good, and he was an H O H. So many of you might have him. Um, I would say he's a replacement for Sarah, maybe like you can. Like if you have Ryan, you can go Sarah, Ryan, Hua, uh, Colleen, Bella, or Galleon. And then what you do is you have Sarah as your Shihua. And then Ryan goes fourth, and Hua goes fifth. But yeah, enough with the theory crafting. Uh, back to Lukasha. My Lukasha, you'll see. She has horrendous HP base stats, but we don't care. Uh, she has huge attack. Like She's a three-star, and she has almost as much as Lucian. He, she has a huge attack modifier, so uh, yeah. This mine is uh, speed attack defense to survive a bit, and because I have this rune, but she's probably getting the rune, unfortunately. Like the changes to Shihua's AI, I, I, I never believed that they we're gonna change the AI. If I did, I probably wouldn't have bothered with uh, six starring Lukasha, I would have just waited until they did it. Uh, speed attack attack. T uh, speed attack defense. You can go speed uh, attack attack, but I would recommend one defensive stat on her because she is so squishy. Uh, Lukasha is also obviously replaceable by Helea. Helea is the dark harpy. She's a three star, so a lot of you might have her. She was a free LD monster, which I <laughs> fed before I started collecting them. So. Helea is infinitely better because she also has branding. So if you use Shihua and Helea, then you have double branding, which is amazing. And uh, yeah, that's about it. And finally, we go to Adrian. Adrian, you see, 127. Shihua was 
120, uh, 129, Wall was 124. Uh, he has a 70% crit rate. He gives 30% to the team, so he's at 100%. Your skills, you'll see, zero here. Uh, the chance of firing additional salt is equivalent to your crit rate, so if he has 100%, he fires an additional one, so it's three. Uh, if he doesn't have the buff up, it's still a two hit auto attack, so that's cool. Also, disturbed uh, HP recovery doesn't matter too much, but since Colleen is the one going first, he actually gets this up a lot on the boss, which is really good. Because even though it's one turn, it will uh, stop it from uh, healing. Uh, attack, crit damage, attack. I need to max his runes, I need to max his skills. As you can see, my Adrian is not perfect, but he's very good. You want some accuracy on him. The dots are really nice. He, put, he can put four dots up. And I think with pretty good uh, harmful effect rate. Yeah, 75%. So that's really good for each attack. You can put a lot of dots up. Same goes for Sarah. You want accuracy on Sarah. Right? Because she, she has attack, uh, attack bar reduction. She has uh, attack speed reduction. And she has six dots here. So you want Sarah to have uh, accuracy as well. But you want her on revenge. So yeah, it's, it's hard. Anyway, uh, Bella can also be, but you know, Bella is Bella. You know how to ruin a Bella, I'm sure. Uh, another option some of you might want is Lynette. Uh, oh, my Lynette is kind of broken right now, but uh, Lynette is a shield breaker. She actually got her first skill. Uh, her first skill actually does some damage now. So she, it got a 33% boost, I think. So that that's actually pretty cool because it did zero damage. Uh, if you use Lynette, uh, probably use her as leader for the attack speed. Unless you have an attack power. I actually prefer the attack power because on the boss, that's what counts. And um, actually, I think the leader skills pass through as well. I don't know. I'm not sure about it. But, you know, you can try her. Uh, what I would use her at is a sh shield breaker. Same as Shihua. She's a worse Shihua because... She has the chance of using this skill, which while it does, it can one shot the boss. I can I have seen it seventy percent to zero the boss. It does ridiculous damage. The problem is that uh, and it heals, which is awesome. The problem is that she can do that on her turn, and even if she has revenged, you know she revenges. Uh, so what you might want to do with Shihua is you might want to have her move third after the defense breaker, even though she's a DPSer. So that maybe, she, you know, she gets a hit in uh, because she's a sort of a, because she has the single target, the single hit skill. Other than that, Lanette is also a pretty decent uh, uh, user, a pretty decent monster. She was also an HOH monster, so there you have it. So yeah, that was it for the Speed Necro. I hope it wasn't confusing. I hope, I, I even have my notes here, you know, I'm looking at my notes. Uh, going over things in order. Uh, I hope it was informative. Um, similar to the Giants one, I might make one with, you know, specific comps for you to see, even though we did a couple of different ones here. I might wake, make, like, a more, you know, more rare monsters comps, but I don't think I will. Like, the, the Dragons one was Verdehal, you know, Verdehal or no Verdehal. Here, Colleen is farmable, the rest are all four stars and three stars. Most of them three stars, actually. So, you know. Uh, let's go over it one last time. What is replaceable by what? Colleen is not replaceable. Get Colleen. Bella is farmable if you need him. Uh, Adrian is a three star. You can get him from unknown scrolls or mystical scrolls. Just keep at it. You can use him. Uh, Harpy has a, a secret dungeon. And the Dark One was a reward for those of you who have been playing for a while. Sarah, guilt, uh, guilt points. Uh, Lynette, HOH monster. Ryan, HOH monster. Uh, Shihua, Hua, and uh, Shihua, Hua, and Trevor, if you want to use him. Uh, and what, Stella, as well, if you want to use her. Uh, they are all four stars. Maybe you have him, maybe you don't. Shihua was actually an HOH, but I doubt you guys have been playing for that long. Um, Hua is replaceable by any of the leeches, the good one, uh, the leeches, not leeches, um, that is Foucault, Rigel, and Grego, 
Fukuo is the worst of the three, but he's still decent. Uh, Rigel is probably the best. Very close with the dark one. Um, Shihua is replaceable by Sarah. Duh. <laughs> uh, and Lynette. Colleen is not replaceable. Bella, you know, might have him, but you can replace him with Galleon for faster runs. Uh, Adrian, if you really want to replace him, you can replace him with Sarah as well if you have Shihua, or replace him with uh, the Fire Harpy or something like that. They're all interchangeable, you can make them work, and uh, the best of luck to you guys, and I hope uh, this will speed up your uh, Necro runs. Bye.